All right, and now we turn to Matt Standridge. In for Matt Wintz, all the mats. Okay, Matt, how's the weather looking? We're almost at Friday. What can we expect? Hey, Laura, it's great to see you. Today was really nice. I hope you had a chance to enjoy it because it's not every day in you know mid-December where we get next to 50 degrees and we have a lot of sun today, especially once we broke up some of those clouds. But I do think we'll stick with those 50s for tomorrow and for the weekend as well. We'll just have to watch for the potential for some rain chances coming in later this weekend. The also big story to talk about are northern lights chances. You know, yesterday, we're talking about the big chance later tonight, especially if we can get some clear skies to see those northern lights, but there's a big update. In fact, coming from the space weather just a couple of hours ago, they've had to downgrade the magnitude of the geomagnetic storm. I know that's a lot of words there. It's now a G1. What that basically means is if you live in Canada, you probably have a good chance to see the Northern Lights. Here in the United States, unless you're in Alaska, the chance is pretty low. So the chance has gone down. And just kind of on top of that, we still have some clouds across southern Canada too. So even if we were going to have a chance to see it, if that, if that magnitude of that solar storm was coming in the same as it was yesterday, it'd be still hard to kind of see it. Here's a wide view across North America. We still have some clouds here in northern Ohio, especially more over Lake Erie. And of course, when you're looking at that northern sky, that's where you would want to look anyway. So that's where some of the clouds are. But overall, the Great Lakes are looking pretty nice right now. In fact, we had a really nice day. But that will change as we head towards the weekend. You see this low pressure close to Colorado and New Mexico. That's going to be our next weather system. This thing's probably going to arrive for the weekend. So tomorrow, I think we're still dry. We may have a few more clouds roll on in as that storm system approaches. But then we're going to talk about rain this weekend. We have mostly clear skies overhead at the moment. But if you live close to the lakeshore, we're starting to get a few more of those clouds. And then they get a little bit thicker once you look over Lake Erie. But good news, it's been pretty warm today. Yeah, we've dropped a little bit back into the 40s, but some of us got very close to some of those 50 degree marks earlier this afternoon. That felt pretty nice. As you go into the overnight hours, I think a lot of us will bottom out in the low 40s, maybe even some upper 30s for some of us away from the lakeshore, but not too bad, especially for an overnight in December, right? Tomorrow's forecast, I think we'll start off with some sunshine as temperatures try to warm up in the 50s, but then clouds start to return in the afternoon. And that's when our next storm system will start to arrive. Headed towards the lakeshore tomorrow, it's gonna be, a, I think, a nice day south winds between about five to 10 miles per hour, four to nine knots overall across Lake Erie. Here's your national design mark, hour by hour forecast. Going into the overnight hours, guys, dipping into the 40s, maybe some upper 30s, but then I think we'll start the morning with some sunshine and then clouds will start to build right back in into the afternoon. But tomorrow remains dry. It's this weekend, guys, that rain will start to move in from the west. We may even pick up about a quarter of an inch of rain. Here's your seven day outlook from Ken Canley Kia. So we'll stick with the 50s tomorrow. We'll stick with the 50s for Saturday, but that's when rain arrives, a cold front swings through, and we get much cooler going into next week. In fact, we have some chances for a little bit of light snow flurry activities, both Sunday and into later next week. Laura, those snow chances that you see on the seven day forecast are pretty minimal. Okay, but I have to say, it seems like we have it all coming up for us in this seven day. We have 50s, we have rain, snow, sunshine. Not bad, it's a mixed bag. Matt, thanks.